Omega Men, the Hydrokai mission part four. So, how do you know Hydrokai? asked Callista, sipping on green tea. Goes back to my teenage years, replied Primus. Tell us about it, said Tigger. I was young, on the spaceways at times, learning about the galaxy, the ins and outs, the powers that be. You land out there pretty quickly that Apocalypse had a lot of punch to it. And when an Apocalyptian was in town, you often checked yourself. Hydra Kai, he was an Apocalyptian, and put a lot of punch because of it. But it wasn't a ruling class or anything much like that, really. He knew secrets. Worked down in the catacombs and things. People knew about him somewhat. He didn't completely hide it. He liked to gamble. He had a bit of intergalactic currency about him. And he would gamble casinos here and there, and womanize a bit. <laughs> He's the oriental kind, as you'll soon see, and he knew martial arts, this and that. But after a while, running into him while I was on the run, he saved my life from a group of thugs who wanted to cash me in, as it were. I swore him protection because of it, and he told me his life story. It became apparent, though, as his fame spread, that some of the powers of that bees started taking an interest in the life of Hydra Guy. His secrets of Apocalypse, that could prove interesting. He didn't want to return to Apocalypse when I met him, wanted a new life, so I provided my knowledge of the galaxy to him, and we found Keldros Fall to be suitable enough to answer to his dilemma. He could continue to train privately in his martial arts and pursue the old family faith with, for a while with the Order, something to ponder and develop in his life. <laughs> he probably needed it as well, was his thinking at the time. So it came to Keldra's Four, similar to this order which agreed to take him in and help him with his journey, and I felt my debt paid. He was safe, but no longer would seem. No longer would seem indeed, replied Callista. Well, we should see him soon enough. Find out what all the fuss was about. Three days later, Hydra Kai, in fact, did emerge from his solitude. The monks informed him of his guests, and after doing various duties, he joined them. Your say Lobo is after me, queried Hydra. Lobo is a very persistent bounty hunter. He will eventually track us down. Almost inevitably, replied Primus. I am very reluctant to leave the Order, at least at this stage of my life anyway. I have been thinking over a lot about life, its meaning, its purpose, its possibilities, and have started making plans. But I need more time to resolve things, to answer questions, to work out what I have done and what I should do in the future. I cannot leave now, it's too soon. I understand, replied Primus. So, as you can see, it's impossible. If Lobo finds us well, you will have to defend us. Primus looked squarely at Hydrakai. We will stay. How long will you need? I am far from finished in my studies. Another six months is barely enough. Twelve months, that would probably suffice. But I would need that time. I have reached many breakthroughs and understandings, but still need more time. Give me a year. After that time, we can leave. If Lobo does not find us first, says Inclista, Hydrakai looked at her. As you say, if Lobo does not find us first. Hydrakai stood, excuses himself, and left the room. So now we wait, asked Tigger. Now we wait, replied Primus.